Advances in Health, I'm Hartford HealthCare's Rebecca Stewart. We're talking about Peyronie's disease, something you might not have heard of, but would you believe it affects 13% of men? Dr. Jared Beenick of the Tallwood Urology and Kidney Institute joins us with a look at this. 13%, what is it? Well, it's a great question, and not many men know about it. In fact, I've seen patients that didn't even know they had a disease. So Peyronie's disease is a condition where there's a scar tissue or a plaque that forms on a part of the penis that can limit its ability to expand with erections. And that can result in various deformities, different curvatures, angulation, or even indentations or hourglass deformities. It can also affect the ability of the penis to expand alone with erections, and some men struggle with erectile dysfunction. So this is something, and when men find out that they have this, and it can be uncomfortable to talk about, certainly. they should come see you. Right, they should certainly be evaluated by a urologist who has experience in treating Peyronie's disease so that they can be evaluated and really talk about all the available treatment options that they have. Which include? Well, treatment options have gone through a lot of evolution. There are no pills that have been proven to work on the market. Sometimes we talk about mechanical options or basically ways of stretching the penis, which sounds a little tortuous, but it's been shown to work if men commit some time to it. There also was an FDA-approved injectable medication as of 2013, which has shown some benefit in dissolving that plaque and improving curvatures. And lastly, we have surgeries, which can help men who really don't have options uh, that work for them otherwise. Is this something that can affect someone's fertility? Not as much fertility, unless it's impacted them to the point where they're not able to have successful intercourse, frankly, because of the curvature. And that is the case in some men. It may be uncomfortable for some men or even their partners. And that really is the focus, that quality of life factor that we focus on in their treatment choices. Dr. Jared Beenick, thank you so much. For more information, log on to WTNH.com slash Advances in Health. I'm Rebecca Stewart.